All right, uh, today we're going to be drawing a Sasquatch. So for this, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a tree. So we have sort of a reference for how big he is. Um, so off to the side here, we're going to draw sort of the bottom of the tree. And then we're going to draw some leaves coming up to that bottom. And then some of them come around the top. And then it's going to go up and up. So we've got some branches. Then we're going to do it again. We're not going to connect them in the middle. And then again, it's going to come up. And up. And then we're going to do it again. some up. And you can see they're getting smaller every time. And up. And this time we're just going to do them on the bottom. And that's going to curve up. And like that. Then just a few more. three, up and up to just a few on top. All right, so we've got a nice big tree. Uh, we're going to draw a couple more leaves on these bottom parts so it's not so empty. And then we're going to draw the um, trunk coming down. And then uh, we're going to draw some plants down here. So kind of the same way, a little three, and then it's going to come in, and then two leaves, and then come in, two leaves, and then come in, two leaves, and then come in, Oop, just like that. And then you can put just a couple of leaves at the bottom. Do the same thing again. So three, come in. Oop. Well, that's some extra leaves, don't hurt. Come in. And then uh, we're going to kind of just bring this trunk down and darken it back there. Okay. Then uh, maybe some um, mushrooms, always fun. Some little mushrooms. Darken the space behind them too. And put some spots on them. Darken underneath just a bit. And then we can do some uh, leafy plants. So here's a big leaf coming up. And we'll do another leaf coming up. A little line going through the middle. And maybe one more. Like that. Uh, maybe one more. Right by the ground there. And then all of this again, you can kind of just shade in. Like there's a shadow back there. And some grass. And then the trunk. We want to finish that trunk all the way down. Just make it a little bit dark. A little dark right under the tree. And then the bark. All right. So we've got a nice tree going. Now that we've got that all in place, uh, we're going to draw the Sasquatch. So 
Um, we're going to draw his butt right here. And he's, uh, he's got that same sort of uh, furry shape like the tree does. Uh, so his butt's right there. We're going to make the thigh come up and meet the butt. And then his other leg is going to go back behind this tree. So the front of the thigh is there to like a uh, knee. And then the rest of it's going to go back. And then the back of the thigh is there to the calf, which is just going to go back. And again, we're going to darken that all in. That's all in shadow. The thigh, we're going to darken that. So that's in shadow too. And we'll come back to that. That'll make more sense when you see the rest of them. Now, um, we're going to make the knee. So the knee's over here, kind of hairy. And then that knee is going to come down. And then the top, it's like uh, the cuff of his hair there. <laughs> and that's going to come up to the thigh. And then the Sasquatch, right, is a big foot, so we're going to give him that big foot. So I'm going to put his heel down. It's going to come up. And then we're going to see his little toe, the next toe, the next toe, and then a big toe, and the top of his foot, and an ankle, and some toenails. And then, again, we're going to make a shadow. And we're going to add some grass. So you can see all that. Let's give him some hair on top of his foot. Maybe a little shadow in there. All right. Now let's get the top of his thigh. So the top of his thigh is going to kind of come to here. Like that. And then his chest is going to be sort of through here. And then his arm is going to be like around here. So I draw the bottom of his arm. The, uh, the elbow will be like back here, so then the arm will bend down to here. Again, it'll end in sort of a cuff. And then the top of the shoulder will be here to the elbow, and then just connect that to the rest of the arm. Then we'll draw his hand, a couple of fingers. Is the back of his hand it's behind that tree there. He's stepping out from behind it. And now we just got to connect his back to his butt. So just like that. And then again, put a little shadow. Maybe a little shadow by his finger there. All right, then uh, we'll give him a little fur on his chest so you can see his, like, bicep. Then this arm is going to come down. So again, it's going to come through here. So we're going to draw this arm coming down to an elbow, or the crook of his arm here. Here's the elbow. Coming back up. And it's going to come down to, like, about here. So we're going to draw the fur there and connect it, and then connect it. And then his hand will come down for one big finger, and then his thumb, and another finger, and then the last one. And I'll put a little fingernail. You probably won't see those other fingernails. And again, a little shadow. And then we just got his head, right? So for the head, what we're going to do is we're actually, we want it to come like on in this direction. So we want it on an angle. So here's going to be the top of his head. Can you see that? 
There's the top of his head. We'll cheat him a little. And then that's going to come down to here. And then this is going to come back. And there's his like fluffy head. And now it's just a matter of making his face. So we'll start with his mouth. We'll make a big mouth coming up out of that fur, like a kidney bean, and then a little kidney bean inside, a couple of teeth in there, just a couple. Good. Then his nose. Uh, actually, let's do his hair here. And then his nose comes down, up, some eyes. He's looking off in that direction, whatever he's running away from. He's back there. See his face kind of sticking out of the fur. There you go, his nostrils a little bit. A couple other tufts of fur there. And just a little extra fur here and there. Spotted a sass quatch. All right.